All right, what's up, my guys? It's the Kaisa, and I'm back for another uh, another stream. No, 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 no. Right, 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 right. What was I saying? Right, right. Um, fuck. We just finished um, reacting to the Monster Hunter thing that we took like a look at. It was very fun. I liked it. But now <clears throat> there is another trailer that popped up, popped up just suddenly today after like the Monster Hunter thing. There was a trailer for Marvel Studios's. Miss Marvel, Marvel Studios' is Miss Marvel, or AKA Kamala Khan, are um, the the next like new gen of the Marvel superheroes, right? Yeah, I really like um, these Marvel shows a lot, you know. Outside of like a few that I didn't like, which was uh, What If, right? But I did like <clears throat> I did like WandaVision. I did like Falcon Winter Soldier. I like Loki. I like Hawkeye. Um, I will be um, very much in love with Moon Knight if it's like good, right? Of course, I want to see some of like the other movies that came out for Marvel, right? <clears throat> but um, Marvel just dropped their Miss Marvel uh, Disney Plus series, right? So that will be debuting in like around summer is June eighth. Yeah, I'm also like with Moon Knight. I'm very much like excited for Kamala Khan because um, from what I understand correctly, right? Kamala Khan is a like she's like one of like the new gen Marvel like characters alongside Spider Gwen and Miles Morales and then there are others like Jane Foster as like the new Thor and then there's like Wolverine, um, Laura, shit like that, right? So <clears throat> there are like lots of uh, things that I don't know of in like in the Marvel like comic verse and they keep like adding new characters because you know the old characters kind of like. Um, passed away or like dropped the towel or like raised the white underwear flag of like well not the underwear flag what am i saying um put down their shields and whatnot you know um so now it's like the new age of new heroes right um so we're gonna be seeing that at least like for the mcu with uh, now we have spider-man now that iron man has died now that captain america put down the shield forever and is in retirement now that Falcon has become the new Captain America. There's also Shang-Chi and then there's like Moon Knight and so much stuff, right? And Kamala Khan is being like one of them. So for her specifically, if I remember correctly, um, she's like a protege or like the apprentice. Well, not really apprentice, but more like another like Captain Marvel. Like she monikers like the name of like um, the the Carol Danvers Miss um, Marvel, um, but mostly Captain Marvel by name association, and calls herself Miss Marvel. And from what I remember, Miss Marvel or Kamal Khan, she is a Pakistani Muslim American girl, right? And you know. <clears throat> That's pretty spot on for Marvel to be like that inclusive, right? And from what I've heard about with Miss Marvel in terms of like the show and everything, it's gonna be very tight knit, like Pakistani Middle Eastern um, filmmaking and crew and staff and whatnot. So it's gonna be very culturally like appropriate, which is, you know, spot on for Marvel for like doing that shit, right? And Kamala Khan by powers she's just basically mr fantastic right i mean she gets like cosmic energy but she has the power to like enlarge herself and she has like um stretchy limbs so that she can like fight dudes so this is just fantastic for but in a different paint of color because i think it was like a lot of people like miss marvel because miss marvel but no 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 what was it um a lot of people don't like the Fantastic Four back then because of like how old and tired they, that they were. But now with like new cast, like everybody loves her. But this is just like when I looked at Kamala Khan, I was like, oh cool, a Pakistani American, right? Pakistani American brown girl superhero, right? What does she have? Stretchy limbs. Really, you just make Mr. Fantastic, but in a different shade of color. But anyway, right? Um, I don't mind that, right? Cool. I don't mind that, right? I don't mind um, reusing assets as long as like the film slash show is doing so good, right? But um, I have not seen this trailer. Um, I want to know what it's like. Um, so let me see.
Marvel Studios. Okay, so first off, I just want to say, I get it. You get what? That's cool. Kamala. <coughs> Another adventure shirt. Cute. Hmm. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You were a weirdo. Boys. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of on my shirt. Sorry. But <laughs> you're staring out the window in your little fantasy land. Okay. Kamala, hey, already? Living the high really? school dream. Like, Do I have to figure out my whole future before <clears throat> lunch or is your life? Maybe you're okay. right. I spend too much time in fantasy land. That is not you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City. You save the world. <laughs> That's a funny line. That's a fantasy too. Okay. Did something happen to you? No, why? Did you hear something? Come on, love. What does it feel like? Cosmic. Oh, what the hell? She has that? That's a power? I always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. Do you know what you are? <laughs> oh wow, this is cool. Let's got a costume. Nice. Oh yeah, but yeah, I like this one, right? I really like, definitely like this one a lot. Um, because honestly, right, we don't get a lot of like, what was it, Middle Eastern representation in like in films, right? I mean, I could be wrong, but um. I hear this is like, it's pretty, I know this is like, this is pretty fantastical for me because, you know, again, you, I feel like you don't get a lot of this stuff, right? Yeah, like the trailer is dope, I really like it, just like, um, Kamala Khan is just like this like, you know, new age hero, Pakistani American, um, just dreams about like being a superhero, just living like the average like, teenage high school life, right? Cause that's... <laughs> Very like Disney like, right? Uh, <laughs> but but yeah, it's uh, really dope. I like it. Um, I just like want to know what she is because like again, I don't follow up with any of like the comics or the comic lore of the Marvel universe. So I don't know what the hell she, I don't know what the hell Kamala Khan is. Right. I just like looked at her, I see like her powers, and I'm just like, again, this is just Mr. Fantastic. This is just this is just Reed Richards. So I'm just like, uh, eh. I like, come on now. But I like it a lot because it's like, of course, you know, all this like sort of like representation going on. I love that shit. Marvel like being like culturally appropriate and not just like, you know whitewashing um, some of the things that we know from these like superheroes, right? You know, Black Panther became so good because it accepts like the black like heritage and like culture and isms that, you know, <clears throat> that is prevalent in our world, right? And hopefully they have not done wrong. And they have not done wrong and hopefully, um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Hopefully they get like the picture of like, you know, how they eloquently put it, like brown girls in like Jersey or like, how about just like brown culture, right? Brown culture and like, <laughs> and it, and, wow, that's funny, they brought the subtitles for it. That's, right? That's very cute. Um, it's like, I feel like Marvel is going to do justice on like, you know, the cultural appropriateness of like, um, their shit because they have done super well in like past projects before so I'm pretty much convinced that like they could do a fantastic job on it but then again <clears throat> it could be just like a honeymoon phase right it could be all like smoke and mirror shit like I don't know um, if it, I don't know if it's potentially gonna be bad right I could already see like some <coughs> Excuse me. First, like, episode impressions are like, this This show's, like, mid, or, uh, like, give it a chance, right? My theory is that, um, you know, for shows like these, 
I don't judge a show based on, like, the first episode, right? I can't get anything off from, like, a, a first episode because it's just introducing shit that will be later on explained in the show, right? Um, even though I did, like, a, you know, a Dawn Brothers um, first episode impression, but that's, like, an impression. It's not, like, a review, right? Some people may get that, like, mixed up, but... <clears throat> I think, like, I think the show will have potential. I want to see it, like, do good. Um, but again, it's like honeymoon phase. Um, I don't know Kamala Khan. I don't know this new age hero. I don't know the villains. It's definitely something outside of, like, my knowledge of <clears throat> Marvel. And most of my knowledge from Marvel just mainly derives from, like, old Spider-Man, old X-Men, and Mr. Fantastic, right? Because those were the shows that were like popping before like the MCU introduced us or reintroduced us and made and iconicized Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk. I mean, Hulk was there, right? But they made like Hulk better with the MCU. <coughs> but back then it was just like those characters. Back then it was just Spider-Man, X-Men, and all that shit, and that's what we know of Marvel. And now it's like the MCU is like giving us attention to like, giving us um, worth notice on like the other characters. It's like, holy shit, with the right direction, with the right uh, actors and producers and writers, it, these characters can be good. And <clears throat> considering Miss Marvel being, um, <coughs> oh god, excuse me being staffed by like um middle eastern people southeast asian people i'm presuming i don't want to be like offensive but very cultural appropriateness for um miss marvel and i love that i love that a lot right um i just hope they like do it good and do it justice um because I don't want to see it flop, right? <clears throat> and we have seen like some shows like flopping, even though like I feel like Hawkeye deserves some praise, but a lot of people didn't like it only for like the end uh, series finale. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's a good show. I can't wait to like watch it. What's other? What's another show that will be coming out in like June-ish? Oh yeah, The Boys season three, right? That's also gonna ah. Right, everybody's favorite <clears throat> edgy, gritty, super well, quote unquote, superhero show, The Boys, right? And yeah, that's gonna be rough for Miss Marvel. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, man. God damn, I have to like think about that now. But I will be like watching both and see what the hell it is. Um, I'm excited for like season three of The Boys, don't get me wrong, but. I want to pay more attention to Marvel stuff because I like Marvel stuff. <laughs> boys is fine. The Boys is fine, but it's not like number one, right? I think I remember seeing like What If being like won an award for um, Critics' Choice Awards for Best um, TV Series, Best Online Streaming TV Series, and it was not given to. And some fans were like saying, you know, what's with this Marvel cloud? Why couldn't Invincible get it? Because you know what I think, right? Um, you know what I think? <clears throat> because Invincible is good. I watched the show, it's very lit, it's very fire. But I feel like it's just the boys, but much but much more grittier and ed it's it's equally as grittier as edgier as the boys, but just with animations. And a lot of it is just memes, right? You don't get like messages from the boys. A lot of it is just from like meme material of like Omni Man just like doing THINK MARK THINK WHAT HAVE I DONE to you know it's just like memes and I think like for Critics Choice Awards to choosing what if you know that's a point of debate right because what if is nice but it's not like supremely good right there are some flaws with what if and it's not like the best of all time, right? These are just like what if scenarios. Most of like what if is just like a tribute to like Chadwick Boseman who died, 
but a lot of it is just like, you know, this thing, what if this thing, what if that thing, what if this thing, and then they make it a little like cannon. But I mean I could see see why, but you know, it is what it is. I can't change the rules. I can't change the Critics Choice Awards. I'm just like, okay, I saw it, that's it. That's it. If it was like invincible. Okay, sure, whatever. Vox Machina, sure, whatever. I don't, like, I don't know, right? I feel like it's more meme with uh, Invincible than it is with, like, What If. I don't see, like, a lot of memes for What If than with Invincible. That's how, at least, like, how I feel. <laughs> but anyway, um, Miss Marvel, very much excited for this one. A lot of cultural appropriateness, new character being introduced, right? So, it's gonna span for, like, what? It's It'll be six episodes, and then the character will appear in the upcoming Captain Marvel sequel. Ah, okay. Six episodes, alright? Oh, that's very short! Why is- why are, like, the Marvel series is that short, right? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand, but it, I mean, they could do longer, right? How many episodes was, like... I forgot. I would have to, like, look them up, but I don't want to do that. Uh, but anyway, um, <clears throat> Miss Marvel, definitely excited for it, uh, definitely gonna be, uh, checking it out when that day arrives. Um, but we got, like, Moon Knight to, like, look at, right? I'm very much excited for Moon Knight, that's gonna be the show at the time, for the time being, right? 